In a previous video, we arrived at an initial risk analysis conclusion that there is a high risk that the current temperature decrease across North America could, within just a few decades, bring intolerable, harsh and freezing conditions if it continues to decrease at the current rate. This video takes a deeper dive and reveals a causal connection to a well-understood climate change trigger. We asked what could lie behind the fact that, according to NOAA data, North America has been on a downward trend in temperature since January 2015 at the linear trend rate of minus 7.15 degrees Celsius per century. A drop in temperature in just one century of minus 7.15 degrees Celsius. This would put the average temperature of North America the same as that of the global average temperature that existed 11.5 thousand years ago and 14 thousand years ago. What could be behind such a change in the climate? What could trigger such a change? And this is where 65 degrees north latitude came to mind. There were two reasons. One, 65 degrees north latitude cuts right across Alaska and northern Canada. Two, its influence on the climate has long been recognised by climate scientists, including Wegener, Koppen and Milankovic. For clarity, we must immediately make it clear that this current discussion has little to do with the Milankovitch cycles per se. But Milankovitch, along with others, recognised the general principle that when the temperature cools in and around 65 degrees north, for whatever reason, the direct effects of these changes are amplified by the feedback caused by the higher albedo of snow and ice compared to land with no ice and sea. So, an increased surface area of snow and ice results in a higher albedo, a higher reflection of the sun's rays away from the earth, which leads to another round of cooling and the development of ice sheets and glaciers. Glacial inception is thus a dynamical process during which environmental changes gradually affect climate in a way that further promotes glaciation. To find out whether such a dynamical process is currently underway and is perhaps triggering the cooling of North America since January 2015, we determined to analyse the areas around 65 degrees north latitude with respect to North America. The excellent tool provided by NOAA was used. It allows the specification of latitude and longitude. We will start our scan just outside the edge of Alaska at 170 degrees west longitude. We had already noted a cooling trend there. We will then move eastwards in increments of 5 degrees until we reach a point where the cooling trend stops. We begin the scan. One last detail. The results of the scan will be presented in three sets. Set 1, 170 degrees west to 150 degrees west. At 170 degrees west, there is a temperature linear trend rate of minus 2 0.92 degrees Celsius per decade. At 165 degrees west, minus 2.82. 160 degrees west, minus 3.78. 155 degrees west, minus 3.52. 150 degrees west, minus 3.52. 0.2 degrees Celsius per decade. Set one at a average linear trend rate of minus 3.25 degrees Celsius per decade.
We go back to the chart of climate variability to evaluate what that means for the area 65 degrees north latitude and longitudes 170 degrees west to 150 degrees west. After 10 years, by 2032, the temperature will have dropped by 3.25 degrees Celsius if it continues to decrease at the current rate. After just 20 years, by 2042, the temperature will have dropped to roughly where global temperature was 11.5 thousand years ago, if it continues to decrease at the current rate. At that time, the Laurentide ice sheet was only just beginning to recede and was still massive. After 30 years, by 2052, the temperature will have dropped to roughly where global temperature was 12,000 years and 14.5 thousand years ago, if it continues to decrease at the current rate. It would even be comparable to the global temperature 80,000 years ago. After just 40 years, by 2062, the temperature will have dropped to roughly where Global temperature was 16.5 thousand years ago, if it continues to decrease at the current rate. Set 1 has moved from here to here. We assess the risk of a glaciation of West Alaska. We find that a progressive glaciation, that is a dynamical step-by-step -step process of glaciation, affecting West Alaska is highly likely between 2032 and 2062 if the temperature along 65 degrees north latitude continues to decrease at the current rate. Set to 145 degrees west to 125 degrees west. From 145 degrees longitude, the temperature trend rate starts to reduce but is still very steep at minus 2.48 degrees Celsius per decade. 140 degrees west, minus 2.32. 135 degrees west, also minus 2.32. 130 degrees west, minus 2.51. 125 degrees west, minus 1.89 degrees Celsius per decade. Set 2 thus had an average linear trend rate of minus 2.3 degrees Celsius per decade. For the potential impact, we return to this chart. After 10 years, by 2032, the temperature will have dropped by 2.3 degrees Celsius if it continues to decrease at the current rate. After 20 years, by 2042, the temperature will have dropped by 4.6 degrees Celsius. After 30 years, by 2052, the temperature will have dropped to roughly where global average temperature was 11.5 thousand years ago if it continues to decrease at the current rate. After just 40 years, by 2062, the temperature will have dropped to roughly where global average temperature was 12,000 years and 14.5 thousand years ago. And in 50 years time, 2072, the temperature will have dropped to roughly where global average temperature was 12.5 thousand years ago. This is the approximate time of the famous Younger Dryas cooling event. After set two, we have moved from here to here, with much of northwestern Canada now included in the scan. Given the results of set two, we can conclude that a progressive glaciation of Alaska and northwestern Canada is highly likely between 2032 and 2072 if the temperature along 65 degrees north latitude continues to decrease at the current rate. 
Set 3, 120 degrees west to 101 degrees west. 101 is explained shortly. From 120 degrees west longitude, the temperature linear trend rate becomes less sharp at minus 1, 0 0.01 degrees Celsius per decade. At 115 degrees west, longitude, it is exactly 1 degree Celsius per decade. At 110 degrees west, longitude, it is just 0 0.08. At 105 degrees west, longitude, the linear trend is minus 0 0.4. At 100 degrees west longitude, we come across a positive trend. We therefore end the scan at 101 degrees west, which had a linear trend of minus 0 0.4 degrees Celsius per decade. Set 3, therefore, had an average linear trend rate of minus 0 0.58 degrees Celsius per decade, which entails that after 40 years, by 2062, the temperature will have dropped by 2.32 degrees Celsius if it continues to decrease at the current rate. After 100 years, by 2122, the temperature will have dropped to roughly where global average temperature was 11,500 years ago, if it continues to decrease at its present rate. Set 3 moved the scan from here to here. A large proportion of northern Canada is covered. For set 3, we conclude a sharp fall in temperature across northern Canada is highly likely between 2032 and 2062 and a progressive glaciation between 2032 and 2122 is likely if the temperature along 65 degrees north latitude continues to decrease at the current rate. We have finished the scan. The most fundamental and absolute fact revealed is that there is a very significant cooling trend taking place since January 2015 along 65 degrees north latitude from 170 degrees west longitude to 101 degrees west longitude. The cooling potentially covers virtually all of Alaska and a large segment of Canada and the northern states of the USA. As we can see, if we look at the 100 degree west longitude line and adjust slightly to 101 degrees west longitude, we now discuss whether this cooling along 65 degrees north latitude between 170 degrees west and 101 degrees west longitude is triggering cooling within these boundaries by the amplification and feedback caused by the higher albedo, which is setting in train a dynamical process that further promotes glaciation. Such a causal chain might be predicted for the future, but are there any current noticeable impacts? We first looked at Alaska. 65 degrees north latitude runs very close to the city of Fairbanks. We checked for any impact. There is a temperature trend rate of minus 2.28 degrees Celsius per decade since January 2015. This is a much greater negative linear trend rate than the minus 0 0.71 degrees Celsius for all of North America. We next looked at the capital city of Juneau. There is a temperature trend rate of minus 1.54 degrees Celsius per decade since January 2015. Canada and Fort McPherson. There is a temperature trend of minus 2.32 degrees Celsius per decade since January 2015. Moving south to Fort McMurray, there is a temperature trend of minus 2.3 degrees Celsius per decade since January 2015. 
Further south to Edmonton, there is a temperature trend of minus 1.35 degrees Celsius per decade since January 2015. Down to Calgary, which is identical to Edmonton, with a temperature trend of minus 1.35 degrees Celsius per decade since January 2015. Moving south and west to Vancouver. Vancouver has a temperature trend of minus 1.1 degrees Celsius per decade since January 2015. The USA. We will look at the northern states of Washington, Montana and North Dakota. Seattle. Seattle has a temperature trend of minus 1.1 degrees Celsius per decade since January 2015. Helena. Helena has a temperature trend of minus 0.98 degrees Celsius per decade since January 2015. Bismarck. Bismarck has a temperature trend of minus 1.38 degrees Celsius per decade since January 2015. So, the answer to the question, are there any current noticeable impacts, is yes. There are current noticeable impacts. We will add some qualification to this in a few moments. We can summarise the results of our analysis in two statements. A sharp fall in temperature across Alaska and northwestern Canada is highly likely from 2023 onwards if the temperature along 65 degrees north latitude continues to decrease at the current rate. The fall in temperature across Alaska and northern Canada is likely to spread southwards and northwards from 2023 20, onwards if the temperature along 65 degrees north latitude continues to decrease at the current rate. We now add some sensible qualifications to, to our results. When dealing with the Earth's climate, we must at all times bear in mind that the climate system is a coupled, non-linear, chaotic system, and therefore the long-term prediction of future climate states is not possible. So, we ask, might there be a problem with the NOAA toolset and data? Yes. Could the current cooling of 65 degrees north latitude be temporary and soon will reverse? Yes. Could the current cooling of 65 degrees north latitude have no causal connection to the current cooling of North America? Yes, but if you were living in North America, would you like your governments to be looking at this issue. Yes. And so would the citizens of Iceland, which we cover in our next episode, along with Greenland. Our community combines the topics of globalism, nationalism, climate change, health, and the new world order. If you would like to join our community, you can find us on locals.com slash discover. Just enter the new world order. This link will take you directly to our site.